الرحمن الرحيم. It is our first visit to Bangladesh for all three of us. Myself, brother Hamis, and as well brother Jamal. It was quite interesting. I mean, to discover a new brother Muslim country. It was amazing. I mean, how I got the opportunity to come to arrive a bit earlier than brother Hamis and brother Jamal. And if I have a visit on the first day to the countryside, immediately I didn't. I came a bit late last Wednesday, so I couldn't see Dhaka. The next day, on Thursday, we start very early at eight o'clock towards Tasha. So it took us around five hours to see the countryside, to see. The, the green to see the water. Uh, I, it was uh, interesting to see such a rich country with uh, a lot of green, a lot of water, a lot of, a lot of resources actually, with as well rich in manpower. So uh, we didn't expect uh, such uh, things to see. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, I see there are many uh, opportunities. We came, the main actually uh, purpose was the completing uh, the process uh, of establishing our joint venture for Dhaka Soft, a repair company. But as well, we took the opportunity to see other uh, opportunities in the same time. Uh, I took this as well, uh, the chance to, to complete my uh, partnership with brother Zahid Hussein for the planting and as well processing Espriolina products, which will be uh, a bit far away from Dhaka, but this is something, uh, it is amazing as well uh, to be exported internationally. Uh, it is the first project even for uh, United Arab Emirates to be uh, entered in such a uh, very scientific uh, project. Uh, we. Uh, we, we see that there's a lot of potential for, for that. I uh, hope, inshallah, this is, will be the first two projects we started with. Uh, things will come uh, in uh, near future. Uh, we hope, inshallah, to keep uh, opening opportunities between the Arab world and as well with Bangladesh and the other Muslim world. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for this meeting. Uh, as uh, Mahbub Zaman has said, that the whole board of DataSoft went to UAE to explore this business. I didn't want to go, frankly, because I thought there is nothing that I can take away from this particular meeting. It will be on the expense side of the company. I was totally against it. But he insisted me, and to my surprises, uh, it was a great learning for us. People who are into technology it was a totally eye-opener for us. I'm referring to our brother Jamal, who happened to be uh, in IT for more than 20 years and got full life cycle exposure of implementing system, developing system, managing government system, and also challenging system like uh, oil and natural gases companies. IT is quite complex. So my takeaway from that meeting and uh, uh, trip was uh, they are extremely meticulous about detailing of things. We have done hundreds and thousands of business meetings in our life, but we haven't met many, many parties, many counterparts asking meticulously questions which you least expected. This is one. So the detailing and the quality aspect is very much predominant in the UAE market. This was one takeaway from us. So anybody who thinks that in the Arabian Peninsula you can just go, you don't, have, you don't need to be as cautious as you would develop software in European or US market, you would be totally wrong. This is a very demanding market, very quality demanding market, number one. Number two thing which, which we had as a takeaway is that market itself is extremely tech-shavy market. Meaning, only leading edge would survive. You take something, some 
second graded or a, a project which has been about technologically two year old is not going to run there. It's not going to get any market there. So you have to position your workforce in such a way that all the leading new age technologies you can take there. And also there is a, there is a reverse flow of uh, information, meaning UAE is usually the testing water for most of the technology companies. Anything that comes new, where you need multilingual support, where you need multilingual interfaces, UAE is the market. So you having a company over there, you are always exposed to the very latest thing by any companies. So uh, my team, uh, I thank my board that uh, they insisted and we had an enormous learning from it. Thank you. Matter of fact, I'm not an IT guy. For the last uh, 20, around 30 years, I'm staying out of the country. I'm mostly in, involved in the commodity business. Fortunately, I have developed a circle of friendship in the Arab world. who are really indeed very potential people. However, and I, I am proud to be the friend of a lot of very genuine personalities in those areas. Alhamdulillah, God has given me that opportunity. You know, for a long time I am staying in the Middle East and I have a problem. Wherever we go, I am a proud Bangladeshi. I fought for my country, I am a proud freedom fighter, but when I see that my country men, the young people of our country is, they have nothing to do except the cleaning, except to be a construction worker, or the house night, I really feel bad. So it was my dream that someday from Bangladesh, if we need to export or send out the manpower, it should be the brain. We, sh we our, as a nation, we are a very much brainy nation. All our boys are talented. You just give them away, they just do but many other nations cannot do. But unfortunately, for the last 40 years, it's going on like this. However, now we are coming up, and I really feel happy. I don't know about the business, because as I say that IT is not my business, it's not my profession, but what is making me happy is that it will open a door for our young, talented people to put a great input, not, I mean, on the knowledge level, not on the manual level level. That is a great upliftment, and uh, I thank John Hai. Actually, I requested him that John Hai, please come and please do something, open it. There is a big potential. And he listened to me and he do twice he went, he went with his uh, full board and he took all the pain. Thank you very much. He was the leader when we were the student, he was he's my leader and he's leader of many of yours and he has again the take a lead to bring Bangladesh one step ahead. Thank you. Don't